Assalamu alaikum guys We are on our way to Lahore I'm with my main man Aslam Bhai And from Islamabad It's a 5 hour coach ride To Lahore It's now 10.07 at night Just finished praying Salah uh, Had a bit of a snack It looks so big It's massive, literally We drove around it and the Shahi Killah is attached to the Ban Shahi Masjid as well Packed with people Look at that Oh, Masha Allah Drink it in it? Love That looks quite incredible Let's go inside this is the entrance of Bad Shahi Masjid. So I'm here with Aslam Bhai. So guys, here is Bad Shahi Mosque. Look at that. Look at that. Bad Shahi Masjid, look at the courtyard, it's so massive. It's the masjid with the largest courtyard in the world. It used to be. Uh, the biggest mosque but it was overtaken by Pakistan's own Faisal Mosque a lot of people when they come to Pakistan or in particular Lahore this is one of the places that everybody visits and it was made by the Mughal Empire Emperor Aurangzeb we arrived last night at around 2 o'clock and uh, it was raining a great deal so we uh, looked for a hotel Alhamdulillah we found one but the problem was as soon as we were going in we saw a cockroach <laughs> walk past and then the guy before letting us go into our rooms he was spraying it with insect killer now when the guy sprays your room with insect killer before you go in you know you're in for a rough night it's probably the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. Look at that guy. No, he was fine. So Osman Bhai is saying there's a little net up there. So the Lord project will increase sixteen seventy one seventy three today twenty fifteen. All project how completed in three years only, labor massive of twenty five thousand per day, whom they built in three years. The meat celebration, a hundred thousand person can of a fair one time. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow. थोड़ा नीचे उनके लेवल पे आ जाए शायद नहीं नहीं वो नहीं ना आवाज तो निकालनी नहीं ना जबान तो भी <laughs> I don't know how much of that I'm gonna end up showing, but that guy was something else. Ah, we were talking about So when when Pakistan was made, they said uh, this guy called Lord Manbatten 
he gave this to Pakistan as a gift. So he was the last uh, viceroy to Pakistan. In the history books, it does say that he was a bit unfavorable to the Muslims because Qaeda Azam. Uh, well, you got to read about that stuff, isn't it? But and then he kind of gave some uh, populated Muslim areas to the, the Hindus, and you know, a lot of funny business happened. Behind me, you got some tourists. We're trying to kind of uh, get some knowledge from their guide. This is such an amazing view. Minare Pakistan, right from Badshai Masjid. Three things, once you come to Badshai Masjid, are all located together. You've got the Badshai Mosque, you've got the Shahi Killer, and you've got the Minar of Pakistan, and you've got the grave of Alama Iqbal here as well. You can see a bit of the tourism in Lahore. Uh, I think this is the ground floor, but it doesn't seem like it's the ground floor. But I think it is. Each time we walk past a particular hole in the wall, we see a new view of this exquisite masjid. Look at that. And here's the minaret of Badshai Masjid. When Sheikh Sudais came, he led here as well. And all of this was jam-packed with peoples. And that's it guys, that was Badshai Masjid. And now we are on our way out. What a fantastic, fantastic place. I highly recommend it. But there's this uh, white guy behind me and these random people. <laughs> are taking pictures with him. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. So if you're a white guy and you come to Pakistan, you're going to be treated like royalty. <laughs> People are going to want to take their pictures with you. You're going to be the main uh, source of attraction. <laughs> you know if that white guy just stood outside the masjid, had a little banner that said 25 rupees per picture, that guy wouldn't need to go back to the UK. He'd probably leave a millionaire. <laughs> you know when he was taking the picture with the white guy, he was saying, uh, one more, one more. What does that suggest? That suggests that he already took one with him and he wants another one. Oh my God. And his wife or girlfriend or whatever, uh, she was just thinking, what the fish is going on? Now here, a white guy is like a blue moon comes once in a while because people are scared of Pakistan for some reason. What you gonna do? Guys, we've just entered the Shahi Killer. It is massive. And I can see why this was called the crown jewel of Lahore. Because it is massive. And it's like a fort slash castle sort of thing. And uh, it's nicely reinforced. And the architecture's lasted till today which shows that they obviously knew what they were doing. It's 20 rupees to get in if, you, uh, if you're a Pakistani, but it's 500 rupees to get in if you're a foreigner. Oh, when would you record? Can I say yes, I spell it? And the spelling of foreigner was uh, F-O-R-N-A-R. <laughs> it's classic. They're asking 500 rupees from foreigners. Can't even get the spelling right, mate. <laughs> What's going on there? Guys, if you are into your architecture, look at that. That is just simply amazing. All the way around. Look at that. Wow. This place is... This is like a proper olden day historical place to visit. Look at this rickshaw guys, this has been decorated and modded to the max. You don't want to see me, cause I'm a west side hustler. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children, that's the last thing we want to do. Look at this guys. Wow, mashallah. Ventilation in here is simply amazing. It's 
safety was safety. So this masjid was built even before the time of Aurangzeb and uh, look at the marble and the finishing. I don't think it's been restored much. Aslan Bai got a bit angry and uh, he expressed his anger here. Goes all the way down and all the way down there. I'm literally lost for words. Oh, so here, guys, is where the king would sit, and here's where the public would uh, probably listen to him. Look at the view outside guys, this place is ginormous. This place just doesn't finish. I'm trying to look for a way out but I can't seem to find it. Look, there's another one down there. Guys, this is the Minaro Pakistan. And uh, this is where the resolution was passed for Pakistan. Look at this little legend, he just jumped in randomly. Fancy the cool down swim. We are here at the resting place of the Mughal Emperor Jahangir. There's one right there, look at that. And there's a crappy one there. I mean, uh, not a good one there. And look at this. Look at that. Reminds me a bit of the architecture of uh, Badshai Mosque. I think the Mughal leaders had very similar design styles. That is a long one. <laughs> now tell me that isn't amazing. Look at that. That is amazing. Came down all the way from there. I'm telling you, it looked like the Taj Mahal. It's the Pakistani version. Here it is, guys. The tomb of the Emperor Jahangir. It's in uh, well-kept condition and uh, surrounded by very nice architecture. Look at that. Very nice and authentic. This is also very nice. The moustache. <laughs> Look at that. Just the door is made from three, four different types of materials. It's 20 rupees to get in, but these cricket enthusiasts have found a little gap in the fence or something and come in every day. There's a lot of open space, so they come in and they play cricket. Look at that. Literally, the there's so many of them.
It's the one and only Digo Double G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Is is what we're talking? Is what? Look, he's saying no. He's not gonna do anything. I've tied his leg. Look at that.